are you nervous about being here? I didn't want to make this guy go to a place that he's worried about his safety. So what, that was a kooky uh, building or a store? Yeah. And he said, no, he was perfectly fine here. But down there, things would not go so well. And that's basically, that's the gist of where the situation stands. So I've been staying in Imphal in Manipur for almost a week. I did go out and explore a district to the south and saw the largest lake in the northeast. But before I came here, I was apprehensive because I, I had read in the news about over 150 people being killed and buildings being burned and there being some some violence happening and I wasn't, I didn't know the story. So if you're in India, you probably know more about this than me. So I'm not really gonna go into what's happening. I'm just gonna share like my experience being here. So if you're planning a trip, you can be better informed because I didn't see any videos like this from foreigners. And I'm still alive, obviously. So it's not super crazy out there is the main point of this video. But I did have an unexpected trip, so I'll kind of go into that too, because I think Manipur is being slept on as a destination. My plan, due to the violence, was to lay low here in Imphal, get an Airbnb, stay inside. I was still gonna explore some of the local areas which aren't too far away, the hot spots, if you will, and make a video, but go on like a day when you know there's not gonna be tons of people. You can go to a dangerous destination, but if you're just smart about it, you really won't have too much of a problem. In my experience, um, you know, not going to protest, not inflaming anyone by causing a scene. Um, it's basic stuff, but um, I had planned not to see the beautiful uh, Loch Tak Lake, which is the largest lake I had mentioned. Um, and when I was planning my trip, I called the resort and they said they were closed at that time, maybe a month ago. Uh, and they said it probably wasn't a good idea for a foreigner like myself to come there at that time. So unfortunately I didn't get to stay there. Now, when I arrived, my Airbnb host picked me up from the airport and he quickly laid out the situation to me so I'll lay it out from my perspective basically two of the main tribes are having a conflict over economic resources that's a very simplified way of saying it but they've lived closely together for decades and there's a history between them some good some not so good but a recent political event sparked the violence and I would say that it's fair to state the local politicians have something to gain by inflaming the the groups and the type of person who's like inclined to take up arms for their cause are the main drivers of the issues most of the people probably are more moderate and want it just to be over with and peace to come again basically though if you're a foreigner like me you're going to be fine no one's going to have any beef with you and they probably want you in their area because the economy has taken a hit due to what has happened. Now, if you are a Mai Tai, which is one of the tribes, and you're in a Mai Tai district, then you'll also be fine. If you're a Kuki, the other tribe, and you're in a Kuki district, you're gonna be fine. The issue comes like if you're one of those tribes in the other tribe's area because they've been separated now. And as I was taking a trip with my Airbnb host, who's a Mai Tai, the lake that we went to is a Mai Tai area. But as we were going along, he pointed towards one road and he said like, so 30 minutes down that road is a Kuki area. And I asked him, so what would happen if we were to drive down there to the, that district? And he said, I would be fine, but he would be killed. And I asked him like, uh, like, are you nervous? And he said, no, he was perfectly fine here, but down there things would not go so well. And that's basically the various people I met in my travels, you know, the people at a store, the, the art gallery owner, the people who work at little, uh, little shop, they had various things to say about the situation that informed me of my, what I'm sharing here. Of course, I only spoke with Mai Tai people because they live in the Valley here. They're the largest population of people. They they were the past rulers of Manipur. If you go to the local palace and fort, the Mai Tai people were the people that were living there and ruling. Now the Kuki is a smaller tribe and they live in the hills. And there's really not a not a big reason to go there unless you're gonna like be want to be way off in nature. Or let's say I was a journalist trying to cover the situation, which I'm not doing. I'm just summing up my personal experience. 
for travelers. Anyways, I wanted to let you know that I spoke mostly with Mai Tai people, and maybe the Kuki people would have something different to say about this. But people like the art gallery owner was very proud of his Mai Tai heritage. They painted thousands of paintings of Manipur history, and it's really beautiful to see the, the stories. The local boat owner, who uh, he had some choice words to say about the Kuki people because his tourist business is, is affected by it. You know, less people are coming to the lake, he's giving less tours and probably making less money. As I'm walking around, there is a larger police presence. It reminded me maybe of Srinagar, although there were more people or more police in Srinagar than here. But you know, you'll see police with guns on the streets, machine guns, and you'll see bunkers where there's armed forces at a regular clip if you're driving around. Now, no one ever scrutinized me, no one asked me for my paperwork, no one you know, made me feel uncomfortable in any way. I was pretty much ignored or looked at as a typical you know, uh, local would look at a foreigner being like, you know, just like, what's this guy doing? With a, like an amused look on their face. I felt like I was treated kindly and welcomed wherever I went. Often when you're traveling, I think the small interactions you have with people that happen so often in a shop, on the street, it can really kind of color your experiences. And if it's negative, that can be, yeah, make you not feel the greatest. But here, I felt like the people in the shop were very welcoming to me, you know, teasing me about being a foreigner and having any trouble, uh, you know, buying my milk or um, trying to buy some soda water. Kang Lafort, people are walking around, you know, they'd want to take photographs with me in certain cases and uh, everyone one seemed nice, which doesn't always happen. It mostly happens, but it doesn't always happen. Now, Infall isn't the most touristy place. Like the market downtown is great for photography. It's a women's only run market and it's really beautiful. They dress nicely. There's a lot to see and take photographs of, but the area around it is not, you know, the greatest. There's more trash than usual. I saw two rats in the daytime, which is uncommon. Maybe at nighttime you might see them in weird areas, but market areas also aren't the prettiest in most places places since there's so many people but I think the market area here was more so there was more trash than usual and my Airbnb host had said that the government wasn't running and functioning as it usually did for instance like the construction on the road outside the the house has taken longer than usual now i did get attacked one time and i guess i should mention that i was at the indian national museum near the lake i had mentioned and looking at the murals looking at the statues of the freedom fighters and these large angry bees hated me ah fuck. all right He was coming at me and he was huge and loud in my ear. More bees attacked me. I got stung right here. I got stung on my hand and I got stung right between the eyes. There was like a, a bee stinger stuck in my head uh, after he had done his business. So watch out for the bees in Manipur. The people, super friendly. The bees, not so much. So if you're postponing a trip to Manipur, I would say go for it. This is my 23rd state in India. I'm heading to Assam next. If you want to follow along, you can. But I think if you follow a similar strategy as myself, you're going to be great. And I think you're really going to like Manipur if you like places that are a little bit off the, the beaten path.